Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A solid sphere of radius capital R and density rho is attached to one end of a massless spring of force constant K. The other end of the spring is connected to another solid sphere of radius capital R and density T rho. The complete arrangement is placed in liquid of density 2 rho and is allowed to reach equilibrium. The correct statements is R R means multiple choice question. Here we have given four options. The net elongation of the spring is 4 pi capital R cube rho g upon 3 k. Option B. The net elongation of the spring is 8 pi capital R cube rho g upon 3 k. Option C. The light sphere is partially submerged. And D option. The light sphere is completely submerged. This question is asked J E Advanced 2030. In this question, we have using two concepts. First concept of thrust and second law of swimming. What is law of swimming? Let us consider a liquid is filled in container having the density zero and a solid which having the density sigma. If sigma is greater than rho, means density of solid is greater than density of liquid, then this solid is completely submerged. Okay. And downward direction. Then object is settled down in the beneath of this container. In second position, if sigma is less than rho, means density of solid is less than density of liquid, then object will float to the upper surface. When Sigma is equal to sigma is equal to density of liquid means it is become homogeneous or we can say the object's position is remain where we have to kept means remain as it is. For example, this object we have to put this side so it will be remain its own position. If we have to put downward direction or the bend, it will be uh, remain downward direction. If we have to put here. The position is remain but completely submerged. Okay, so here we have to take this condition for the law of swimming. Okay, this is multiple choice question. So, therefore, we have to find out all the facts. I have drawn this diagram according to the question. Here, the first sphere which is upside, its radius is capital R and the density is rho, and the downward direction, its sphere is given that is p rho density and the radius is r connected with the spring its spring constant is k and the liquid its density is 2 rho okay in first condition we have to find out the first sphere in equilibrium it means its weight of the sphere and the spring force is equal to a thrust force okay so here we have to take on the spring force that is kx weight of the sphere that is uh, 4 by 3 pi r cube <coughs> density is rho and g it is equal to a thrust or we can say bias force means weight of the liquid displaced by first sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube and what is the density of the liquid that is 2 rho is given in the question and g so now transposing this term to the right side 4 by 3 pi r cube 2 rho g minus 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g. Here 4 by 3 pi r cube rho and g get common. So here the term that is 2. Minus 1. So kx equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho 
g and what is the value now x equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube 2 g by k so here the change in position that is x equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g k so which option is matched here 4 pi r cube rho g 4 pi r cube rho g and 3 k that is the first option is correct okay now looking for the next options we have redraw this diagram three body diagram for the first sphere here the weight of this body acting downward direction that is 4 by 3 pi r cube and density that is rho and g and spring force that is acting downward direction f equal to kx and up thrust force is acting upper direction that is 4 by 3 pi r cube but density of liquid that is 2 rho because uh, we know that the buoyance force means weight of this liquid weight of the liquid which is displaced by this sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube 2 rho g and the same diagram for the lower sphere here kx is acting upper direction weight of the liquid which is displaced by this sphere means bias force that is 4 by 3 pi r cube 2 rho g is acting upper direction and weight of this sphere acting downward direction that is 4 by 3 pi r cube and density of this solid that is 3 rho is given in the question 3 rho into g okay now first of all we have taken all the upward forces what is the upward forces this first second and third 4 by 3 pi r cube 2 rho g this is first plus kx plus 4 by 3 pi r cube 2 rho g so here 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g get common so here 2 plus 2 in bracket that is kx so 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g into 4 plus kx it is the left hand side so now we see that is the, all the downward forces what is the downward forces that is kx this is 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g plus this is also this one is also downward force so 4 by 3 pi r cube 3 rho g so kx plus 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g get common so here 1 plus 3 so kx plus 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g 3 1 3 plus 1 that is 4 so here all the terms are same so all the upward forces equal to downward force according according to law of rotation here if the weights are the same it means its position is remain as it is means here total whole system is submerged in the liquid okay so here the light sphere is completely <coughs> submerged so this d option is also correct i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success full contribution goes to your hard work but if my videos my lectures my questions will help in your success i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye